check! It's English O'Clock! Ang pag-aaral ng English upang madaling matutunan, bakit hindi natin simplihan? Halika! Manood at makinig sa English Teacher ni Juan! Kung bago ka pa lang sa channel na to, huwag kang matakot! I made learning English easy for you! Please like, comment, and subscribe! At pakishare mo na rin sa iba para marami pang mga huwan na gaya mo ang matuto. Heads up grade 9, narito na naman ang English teacher nyo. Are you ready for another learning journey? Tara't simulan na natin! Our target most essential learning competency for this video is Use conditionals in expressing arguments. Pamilyar ka ba sa mga linya ng kantang ito? These are just some of the examples of conditionals that you are about to learn today. As grammatical features, conditionals are used in expressing stand or arguments which may be helpful in persuading others to move or act and even change their thoughts. Conditionals are statements expressing the result of a particular condition. If clause and when clause present the condition, while the main clause explains the results. For example, if you pray hard for it, you will receive it. When you pray, God listens. Main clause may appear first before the conditionals, yet the meaning of the sentence remains the same. So for this example, you may also say, You will receive it if you pray hard for it. And for this, God listens when you pray. There are different types of conditionals which include the following. Zero, first, second, and third conditionals. First, let's talk about zero conditionals. Zero conditional deals with habits and general truths such as laws. It is formed using this structure. Here are the examples. When you pray, God listens. If you place it in the fridge, the water freezes. If it is already curfew time, the road closes. From these, you can observe that the verbs in the condition and main clause are all in simple present tense. Again, kagaya ng sinabi ko kanina, maaaring mauna ang main clause kaysa sa conditionals at walang magiging pagbabago sa meaning ng sentence. You just have to delete the comma that separates them. Take a look at this. God listens when you pray. The water freezes if you place it in the fridge. The road closes if it is already curfew time. Let's proceed to first conditionals. First conditional is used in dealing with things that are possibly or likely to happen in the future. Ibig sabihin, ito yung mga sitwasyon na posible o maaaring mangyari o maganap. In other structure, we may substitute unless, as long as, as soon as, or in case, instead of if or when. But for the very purpose of learning conditionals, we will stick to using if and when. And it is formed using this structure. For example, if you don't pass the test, I will hire a tutor for you. When he receives his first salary, he will buy me a new phone. If Lila forgets her bag, I will call her mom to get it. As mentioned earlier, we are to use the present simple tense of the verb in the conditional clause. While in the main clause, we use the future tense will plus the base form of the verb. Now, these are the examples naman for the inverted form in which 
main clause comes first before the conditional. I will hire a tutor if you don't pass the test. He will buy me a new phone when he receives his first salary. I will call Lila's mom to get her bag if she forgets it. Now, let's talk about second conditional. It is used in dealing with things impossible in the present and are unlikely to occur in the future. It is formed using this structure. Examples If I only passed the test, I would celebrate the party. If I received a lot of money, I would buy a new phone. If I were a boy, I would do everything to please my girl. Take note of the verbs used in the conditional clause. They are in simple past tense, while in the main clause is would plus base form of the verb. And the last one is third conditional. We use the third conditional to talk about things that were impossible in the past and can no longer happen now. Thus, the said situation yielded to different result. We also use this conditional to express regret o panghihinayang sa isang sitwasyon na hindi naganap sa past, kaya yung ina-expect mo na dapat mangyari ay hindi iyon ang nangyari. It is formed using this structure. Now, this is how we form the past perfect tense. Had plus past participle form of the verb. Take note that we are to use the past participle form of verb, not the past simple. Now, let's use these verbs for the conditional clause. If she had worked hard on her portfolio. If my beautiful cousin had joined the pageant. If she had gone to sleep earlier. If he had left home at 6 a.m. This time, we will focus on the structure of the main clause. It consists of would have plus past participle. Examples, would have passed, would have won, would have been tired, would have been. Now, let's supply the main clause for the given conditional clauses. If she had worked hard on her portfolio, she would have passed the course. If my beautiful cousin had joined the pageant, she would have won the crown. If Sheila had gone to sleep earlier, she wouldn't have been tired. If Harold had left home at 6 a.m., he would have been on time for the audition. Again, you can exchange the position of conditional and main clause without changing the meaning of the sentence. So, did you learn something today? Sure ako na hindi ka na nosebleed? If you want more of this video tutorial and learn English in a light speed, huwag kalimutang mag-subscribe and turn on ang notification button para updated ka sa mga bagong lessons. Ako ang teacher mo, ang English teacher ni Juan. Class dismissed! See ya!